What's happening, beautiful people? Welcome to Setup Wars, episode 170. What number are we on? I keep forgetting. Welcome to Setup Wars, episode 173, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys want to participate, you know what to do. Make sure to watch the video link down below. But with that said, let the Setup Wars begin. This video is sponsored by LastPass, the only password manager tool that you should be using. Stop getting locked out of your accounts and let LastPass fill in your usernames and passwords for you. LastPass relieves the burden of remembering passwords and it auto-fills your credentials every time you log in on a website and it even works on mobile sites on your iOS or Android device. It doesn't just store passwords. It can store other information as well, like bank accounts, credit cards, or other sensitive information, which makes shopping so much easier. You get unlimited password storage and free cross-device sync, so make sure to visit the website listed on the screen or click the link below and install it for free on your desktop or smartphone. Thanks again to LastPass for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now let's get back to Setup Wars. Kicking off the episode is Brandon from Ohio and his Setup Wars inspired setup. He uses this for gaming, editing, and homework. So we have a single ultrawide from LG and some Corsair gear, the K55 keyboard and the dark core mouse. For audio, he has a HyperX Stinger gaming headset and a Blue Yeti microphone hooked up to a boom arm, which appears to be not connected to anything. I noticed there are a few unnecessary items on the desk, which takes up a lot of space, like the VR headset and the controllers. There are many ways around this. A headphone hanger for the headset is the most obvious one. You can also hook up these clips on the side of your desk to hold your controllers and even your headset, or simply install a pullout drawer like this one to store your small items in. Either of these would make a great addition to your setup and will help clean up the surface a lot. Adding some black and red skins to your PS4 is optional, but it will make it stand out more, but also contribute to the color scheme you have going on. One thing you can do with the mouse wire is run it underneath the keyboard and tie it with the keyboard wire so that there is only one cable going across your setup. Just make sure to leave enough cable slack for the mouse. And finally, a wall raceway to hide the single cable going down from the TV. I know it's a very small recommendation, but every little bit helps. The PC powering it all has a Ryzen 5 2600, 8 gigs of RAM and the MSI GTX 970, which is decent for 1080p gaming. However, Brandon mostly plays on his PS4. He is also picking up some black and red acoustic foams very soon to decorate the wall and a poke soundbar, which needs to be mounted on the wall. Lots of work definitely needs to be done to perfect this setup, but this is a great start. Thank you, Brandon, for sharing your setup with us. And by the way, props on keeping your carpet so damn clean. I don't know why that makes me so happy. Joey from New Jersey has a more minimalistic setup that he built on a custom-made desk. There's a couple 2x4s being used as a TV mount, and he used the backside of that to route the cables straight down. There isn't that many things on the desk, just some miscellaneous items and wireless peripherals. He's using the HP Soft Touch keyboard and the eBlue Razer wireless mouse. I don't know how Joey can sit in front of that massive screen. A 40 inch TV is just too big for me that close up. I'm hoping he's able to sit a bit further on the edge of the desk. Otherwise, he can go blind pretty quickly. That's pretty much it on the surface other than the PC on the far right. It is a bit outdated with the FX 6300 and a Radeon R9 380, but it is a clean looking build. Apparently he uses this setup for gaming and video editing. One cool thing about the TV mount is that he can swivel it. I'm gonna take a guess and say that he watches videos while he works out, judging by the weights on the ground. What can I say? It's a pretty straightforward setup that does what it's supposed to. Really great job on keeping it clean and organized. Thank you, Joey, for entering. And number three is Keith and a gorgeous gaming setup featuring a 34 inch ultra wide that's mounted against the wall. And we have a 24 inch Dell monitor mounted vertically on the desk. He didn't say what the purpose of the setup is, but I'm gonna jump in and assume it's for gaming and productivity, judging by the monitor layout. He's rocking the Corsair K70 RGB keyboard in white and a Logitech G502 mouse. If I'm not mistaken, the K70 MK2 has a USB pass-through near the top, so I'm curious why you didn't plug your mouse in the keyboard and just have one cable going across your desk. I do want to point out the position of the RGB mouse pad though because I think it's really clever that Keith positioned it this way so that you can run the cable underneath the desk. Nicely done. For audio, he's using the popular Logitech Z506 speakers and the Void headset hanging beautifully underneath the desk. Cables are managed pretty good, I guess. I mean, I personally wouldn't have used tape on the cables. 
it just doesn't look good, but hey, if it works, it works, right? The PC pushing all those pixels has a 7700K and a GTX 1080 Ti liquid cooled, and I gotta say the color scheme in the build is pretty sweet. Blue and purple with white accents is not only unique, but actually looks pretty good. I don't know why, but the Funko Pop collection up top kind of bothers me, not because it's not centered, but I feel like it would have looked way better with the two shelves on the outside and the posters in the middle. I don't know, that's just my three cents. Awesome setup by the way, thank you Keith for entering. Now here's a pretty interesting setup coming from Nick. Uh, apparently it's used mainly as a machine learning workstation, whatever on earth that means, but he does occasionally game as well. It consists of a 98 inch carbly countertop and four 24 inch monitors mounted on the desk in a very unusual way. First thing that comes to mind when looking at this setup is that Nick seems like a very serious person. A very intelligent, but serious person. There isn't anything extra or decorative in this setup. Nothing that screams personality. It's just straight to the point with the essentials. You got his monitors, his PC, and the peripherals. He's using the K68 RGB keyboard and a Scimitar Pro RGB mouse. Even the PC is simple. It's water-cooled, but it doesn't have any flashy RGB lighting, custom cables, or even colored coolant. The cable management is also spot on. I feel like Nick definitely knows what he's doing. There's nothing I can really recommend to improve this setup. And I feel like he's the type of person that just gets shit done. Thank you, Nick, for sharing this exquisite setup. Last but not least, we have Saro coming in all the way from Switzerland and his extremely clean gaming setup. He also uses it for CAD, CNC, and cam work. He's rocking two different 27-inch monitors that are mounted against the wall and right underneath the nano leaf panels. I love that he added a wall raceway to cover up all the cables running all the way down to the wall outlet. Beautiful work. He kept the desk fairly minimal with just his K95 keyboard and the Logitech G502 Spectrum RGB mouse and a few dragon figurines. For audio, he's using a soundbar and a sub from Tufel, I think that's how you say it, and a pair of AKG Pro headphones hanging from underneath the desk. The PC is a custom-built water-cooled beast using the 8700K, 32 gigs of RAM, and the ASUS GTX 1080 Ti. I love the color scheme of this build. I mean, the bends are done really well, and the clear coolant actually looks really good in this build. I feel like clear coolant only looks the best in a white-themed PC. Cables are managed beautifully with the help of cable clips and he even drilled a small hole in the backboard to help with routing. Excellent job with the setup and I just love how clean and minimalistic it is with a hint of personality and spice. Thank you, Sarah, for entering. And that's it for this episode of Setup Boards. As always, make sure you guys vote in the comment section on who has the best desk setup for the episode. It's gonna be a tough one because we got some pretty badass setups in this episode. If you guys want to see sneak peeks on upcoming builds and projects, make sure to follow me on my Instagram or Twitter account. I love your beautiful, beautiful cheekbones. I'll see you guys in the next one.